Hey folks, how are we doing? So after a good couple of days that I didn't work, I finally was able to start working yesterday and today and finished another five. These are pretty simple, straightforward, removable handles, three unidirectional and two peel ply, the, that foliage green peel ply, I really like this. I just felt like doing those. Uh, I always was a fan of that nice clean look. It's different handle than what I normally do with the shaping but it's still you know nice and comfortable it just looks super clean all these are actually slicer grinds convex and very very lean convex so like you know really high performing grind on this nice silent finish on all of them Let's see there nice flats left which is that rolled finish on the steel that looks kind of like like forged finish, I don't know if you can see it there. It's actually pretty cool in the person. And a lot of people that got it, they like it, including me. I do like when you leave that rolled finish steel on the flats. So he done die screws, removable. All handles are my Gavco handle shape, comfortable, you know, nice and contoured. Not too thick, not too thin. You know, I think just enough. It's just just good so the first one has whole stack sheet and I just did this again the holes just for the design I don't know I'm not sure how I feel how I feel about it I'll see how maybe I'll try a couple more but really just just the looks kinda like it but I don't know you guys tell me what you think about it next one is the peel ply oh let me see something I forgot okay this one has no jimping so some of them has jimping too. So this is green peel ply, kind of like gold anodized screw. Three grooves jimping here. Two up. I mean three. Another one up front. I had one like one like this before. What I did together with Jeff Tuftums. So again, really nice and clean grind. Nice flats. The grinds are nice and uniform. Flats are nice and crisp. Actually, plunge lines is plunge lines are nice all the corners here in the in the ricasso the sharpening notch and in the finger groove are like chamfered now you can pick it up there yeah you can you see that corner it's knocked off so you know everything is nice like nicely contoured everywhere on the bottom a little more than on the top nice and I just love how this look you know it looks like a some people will probably not like it because it looks too much like a production knife but I just I really do like that super clean look how it is you know like it's it just looks professional like I would I think and uh, this is probably one of my favorites this one has uh, OD green kydex which goes pretty good with the foliage green nice retention good click Next one is uh, unidirectional with the same se uh, setup for a jimping, three up front and three on a thumb ramp. This one is high, slice the grind like very high, almost, I would say it could, could be considered like a full high convex actually. But it's done in the sense of a slice of grind, so it is stronger here and even thinner and, and leaner in the belly and in the tip area. So again pretty nice clean grind on this this one has a urban digital camo kydex next one is plain no jimping foliage green again kinda goldish screws the carbon fiber has kinda dark bluish uh, screws and the foliage greens I w went with the gold screws so you see that nice clean grind again on, on this this one has a uh, this is a uh, Coyote 10 this was thicker Kydex so it's a little thick a little stronger just a little bit heavier I just wanted to use this Coyote Brown and uh, only I had was thicker I think it's point, uh, zero 0.09 if I remember right or nine zero nine three something like that so it's still good retention you know rock solid just it's stiffer it's a little heavier it's stronger it's it's not what I prefer to use but just works just as well so pretty nice package on that and the last one is 
same thing but this one has just you see just the two little jumps there just a little touch and again very nice and clean grind all of these are very very lean grinds so this should be cutting very very well look at that that's a decent performance that's what I like so just be careful no like you know crazy abuse if you wanna abuse it for some heavier stuff just make the make the micro bevel a little stronger a little bigger Cause it, right now it's super small micro bevel see it there so they're going to the gear bastion again like always so if somebody's interested you know where to find them www.gearbastion.com and remember don't cut yourself. <laughs> Let me know what you think guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.